Condon with the Foundation here at Westminster Canterbury. And I'm here today with, uh, with Taryn Young, fitness specialist, certified health coach, certified group exercise instructor, and stress mastery educator. Um, we are gonna talk today about Taryn's class, uh, The Calm Mind, Stress Mastery for Brain and Body. We would like you to just tell us a little bit about that training, um, which was made possible by the foundation. And uh, can you tell us, Taryn, a little bit about the class and why you think that it's important for Westminster Canterbury? Absolutely. So the class itself, the Calm Mind Stress Mastery for Brain and Body, is a four-week session, and we first did it in April of this year. Mm -hmm. And we did it in April as part of my training. So it was allowing me to give the practical application of the training I had just gone through and then report back on that training to, to the Synergy programs or Heidi, Heidi Hanna, Dr. Heidi Hanna, who's the creator of it. So in that process, I did the first class and now I'm doing a second session right now, which is ongoing. Set up as four weeks, which allows us to introduce it and then go through this formula that she's developed. Mm -hmm. And then in the final week, sort of recap everything and hopefully give people some tools to master their stress and move on um, and then share what they've learned with other people. Now, the reason that I thought it was something intriguing and important for Westminster Canterbury is we have staff and residents, we have a lot of people here. We're all experiencing the same day-to-day -day things, whether it's our job or just the process of coming in. Mm -hmm. Moving is one of the highest stressors known. Mm -hmm. And when people move here, they're making a huge change in their life. Or they haven't really been given the option and they kind of have to make that huge change. Mm -hmm. So when we think about the highest stressors, which include birth, death, marriage, divorce, money, moving, all of those things happen to us just in life. So everybody, whether we're an employee or a resident here, we've all gone through those things and now we're doing a lot of those things together. And then when there's change happening around us as we are in a state of change now, that stirs everything up and, and emotions can get out of control and, we, and people start making poor choices. And so it is very important that we distinguish between management and, and mastery. And management is the idea of getting it out of the way so that you can just do your job or go through your day, do whatever you have to do, handle your responsibilities. Mastery is learning techniques that will allow you to, one, recognize when stress is happening and be able to use that stress as a catalyst to move forward in your life. Mm -hmm. So what kinds of activities do does your class offer? Well, in the class itself, we talk about a bunch of different things because this is not new information. What is new is a little bit of the neuroscience, mm -hmm. but the actual activities and things that are suggested, they're not new. We all know what's good for us. We know that we need to sleep. We know we need to nourish our bodies. We need to hydrate. We need to breathe. We need to move. But we don't always do that. Sometimes when people are focused on something, they'll hold their breath for a long time. So one of the first things we talk about is getting our breath centered. And when we take that nice, slow, controlled breath, it helps to calm our central nervous system. And that's really step one. And then from there, we do an assessment. In the class, we'll do an assessment where you can look at different areas of your life and you can rate them. And it helps you to identify which part of your life is really the part that needs to be addressed. And that may not even be comfortable. So you may find that the highest stress inducer for yourself is something like movement, like exercise. Right. But something's keeping you from being able to do that, say. Like, could be a diagnosis or it could be an injury of some sort. But something's that preventing you from being able to do that or you're just really uncomfortable with the idea. So you can go to the second most difficult thing and see if you can do some, make one change. Mm -hmm. And really, it is about one change at a time and developing new habits. We don't really talk about stopping or, or um, changing or, or quitting something. We really talk about adding in something new that's healthy that will eventually like, nudge out the other stuff. Right. Makes that, makes, that makes perfect sense. Something that I think we all can probably relate to. 
Mm -hmm. um, so there are um, staff and residents um, involved in this training, mm -hmm. uh, involved in this class. Um, can you talk about a little bit about the importance of having both residents and staff together? Yes, so I think it begins first with a shared experience of being here at Westminster Canterbury or any given place, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have different experiences, but we have a shared experience just by being here. For example, the change that's happening now, the changes that are going on around us, everybody's dealing with that. And everybody has their personal stuff that they're bringing with them as well. What I think bringing us together does, whether it is in this form or some other form, but bringing us all together helps us to remember that there's not, we're all in the same boat. We're all humans and we are all at different places, but we're all still having the human experience. Mm -hmm. If I am in this class, and in this class we talk about a lot of things. So if you and I are in this class and I'm a resident and you're a staff member, I'm going to learn something about you that I didn't know before. You're going to learn something about me that, I, that you didn't know before. When we pass each other in the hallway, even if that has never been our thing before, but now there's a recognition, there's a kindred spirit. We have another shared experience that's positive. Right. And we can support one another just by glancing at each other. That's all it takes, just by being kind. I know that you're experiencing something or you know that I'm going through something. And when we pass in the hallway, there can be just a moment of, hey, how you doing? Are you okay? You know, and checking in. And that, I think, helps to remind us all that we're one, we're really one, and also to, that we're not alone. You know, we are, we're all one and we're not alone. And there are people that we can reach out to that know what we're going through. I think that in itself is, is um, a, big, a big stress reliever. Um, so, um, have you gotten any feedback from anyone who has um, who's taken completed the, who's this? Taken the class? Yes, in April. At, well, at the end of the class, we'll do another evaluation. Okay. Um, and the evaluation is both for the content and for the presentation style. So it's a little bit about you know, am I doing okay in the process? Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, the feedback has always been very positive. Most of the time, it's it's being reminded. Mm -hmm. You know, as I said, they're not, it's not anything that's different or new, but if somebody had, let's say somebody practiced meditation through most of their life, or maybe for them it's prayer, mm -hmm. um, and then you kind of lose contact with it. You, you might still be practicing it, but maybe you're not doing so mindfully. So this class can help people bring their brain back in contact with the action. So now, maybe when I go to pray or I go to meditate, I can be there more present and be more full, fully there when I'm practicing. That might be the thing that somebody comes away with. Or it may be something entirely new, like I thought I was the only one who suffered this particular stress symptom. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's something like, hmm, I never thought about hula hooping. I think I'll do hula hooping. Now I'll try it, trying something new, which is also good for the brain. That sounds very healthy and very just a great way to bring everyone together and um, you. and we are really excited about what you're doing here for Westminster Canterbury. Thank you very much. Thank you, Taryn. You're welcome. <laughs>